Okay, we're going to take a quick look at the store settings and just want to show you what URL we're at. We're at demo.sofio.com slash store setup dot WWS. You can add store setup dot WWS to your store's URL and you'll get on the same page that we're looking at here. Okay. So the first thing you see when you log in to your store settings uh, or you log into the dashboard is it shows you what package you're on. So you can see I'm on an unlimited package. I've got nine and a half gigabytes of storage used in my account, but that doesn't matter because I'm signed up for our unlimited package. Okay, you should keep an eye on your storage because our packages are, or the pricing you pay us each month is determined by the storage that you have or that you're using, I should say, for your store. All right, more about that later. Now, when you first get to the store setup, first thing you're gonna see is the store settings and it says, welcome to your web store. Click one of the tabs to configure your store settings, starting with the basic tab. So the basic tab we're talking about is right here. Okay. Now the basic tab has obviously the most basic settings, all right, is to know whether or not you're in demo mode or not. If you're in demo mode, your store can't process credit cards. It can't fulfill orders. And um, one thing you can do in demo mode that you can't do in live mode is you can preview designs, which we're going to look at in a minute. All right, now the store name, an important field. The store name is going to be what appears at the top of every single page. So if I scroll down here, you'll notice it says here, Sofio Catalog Demo. That's because the store name says Sofio Catalog Demo, right? Makes sense? All right, the domain name. Now, this is an important field as well. Um, this should match exactly what you see here in your URL, okay? as the system uses it throughout. Now you can see here, we do not currently have a logo attached, but I could attach a logo by clicking here. All right, and it'll bring me to the attached logo page. It asks me to choose a file. And just for uh, demo purposes, I'm gonna quickly go to my desktop. I'm gonna grab any old image. Uh, let's see if we have anything here. And we'll say, okay, how about you know, a screenshot as a logo. That's kind of ridiculous. But the point is, I just want to show you how it works. Okay, oh, and look at that. It won't let us upload a logo file larger than 100K. All right, rather than wasting time, let's just go back to the store settings and back to the basic tab. All right, so the store admin users, if you notice, this is grayed out. You can't actually do anything here, but when your store was created, we generated a store admin user for you. That is what we call the super admin. Yes, you can create additional users, but for now we're going to just focus on getting through the basic page. Okay, contact information. Now the contact information will appear on your contact us page. And if you notice these little BR, okay, that's HTML code. And that's the HTML code for a line break. In other words, don't put this all on one line, put it on each individual line. All right, so you can put any information you want in here, any text or some basic HTML code if you'd like. And by the way, uh, while you're in the store settings, if you roll over the question mark here, it'll give you some context sensitive help. So it's telling you to please separate each line with the HTML tag BR, just like we discussed, okay? The country, that's self-explanatory. The state, we want you to type in your state abbreviation and your zip or postal code goes here. Now these are important settings because they will control the calculation of shipping in your store, very important. All right, more settings here. You notice here I have the store title. Now store title is different than the store name. Store title will be used in some of the pages where it is appropriate throughout the system. So we can type in here, Sofio Automotive E-Commerce. And this will appear in the HTML title tag of your pages. All right, description, you can say Sofio sells automotive e-commerce web stores to automotive sellers. This will show up in the store's meta tag or meta description tag. And with keywords, we can do things like auto, e-commerce, internet, etc. Okay. Again, this is going to show up inside the, the HTML pages throughout your site. Order message. Let's say you want to have a message that you change from time to time, like check our back to school savings or check our back to school specials. Maybe that makes more sense. All right, that's where you could put that. Phone number, the phone number will print on your website wherever we uh, have a proper phone number, or I should say wherever we have um, the phone number field printing. 
see what's our phone number there you go and what are our hours okay that makes sense the affiliate ID when you sign up um, through our system you automatically can become an affiliate of Sophia's which means if you refer people to us we'll pay you a commission more about that later so the ID that goes here should automatically be populated for your store okay um, store settings uh, sorry store return settings you see we've got some in here from a previous user playing with our demo store this should be self-explanatory you put in the company name address city state zip and postal and this is exactly where people will see where they should be returning parts okay that is it for the store settings basic tab hopefully that was helpful